Hello guys, I'd like to welcome you to another video. I'm Zockley, if you didn't know that already, and um, I just want to first off talk about my new intro. I hope you guys liked it because I realised the old one was getting a bit, well it was quite long and it kind of sort of piercing on the ears, so I thought it was time for a new one. So I hope that's good. Uh, in today's video we're going to be looking at modding the GUI in Space Engineers. I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail because the methods involved are quite similar to uh, changing your loading screen, which I did in an earlier video. Um, but basically, I just want to make like a plea to modders to make more GUI modifications uh, and also a plea to Keen Software House to basically allow them on the workshop um, officially. Because currently, if you try to upload a, modif a, a GUI modification, They'll get pulled down or taken off for some reason. Uh, I don't know exactly why. But let's have a look here. So this here, um, you can see that I've changed the video in the background. And also this GUI modification here is actually not done by me. It's the transparent GUI, which is done by Rockman. That's, just, that's right, Rockman, yeah. So basically, he did this GUI that's it's more crystal clear, and you'll see what more what I mean when I go into the into a game. But anyway, so yeah, I changed the video, and you could put your own videos there, and I'll talk a bit more about that in detail in a bit. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, let's load up a world. So yeah, so here I am loading up a world, and. Um, here you can again you can see my modification to the loading screen, which I did earlier. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that video out. It's uh it's pretty easy to do. So here we are in a pretty bog standard, you know, easy start to world. And um I'm just gonna open up the G menu and immediately you'll see that it's a lot more transparent than the the vanilla one. Uh and say so this mod is amazing. This guy that he did this, and I just think that this looks so much better. And it also allows you to see what's going on behind the screen. It's one thing that you sometimes have the issue of when you're in the control panel or you're in the G screen and you want to see what's going on behind. But normally that blue kind of uh, yeah transparent thing, semi-transparent thing on top, kind of um, makes it hard to see. So yeah, I think this is really really good. Um, just for seeing, I think it looks smarter in my opinion, and I would love for Keen to do something, either have it as like a second, as an option, um, officially, or again, like I said earlier, to have better support for it on the workshop. So I'm just gonna, let's go, I don't know, let's go in here, let's go onto the control panel, and equally, the control panel looks, I mean, I think this looks amazing. It just looks sharp, um, and to me, everything sticks out quite a lot better. Um, yeah, this is, this is for, very pleasing on the eyes. So I'm just going to um, run, in, run in here and just show an example of... I'm just going to open this again. I can see the background. I'm just going to go ahead and change all the interior lights. So now I can just... I can change it, but instead of having that blue thing that kind of... It can make it hard to know exactly what it looks like. Here you can just yeah just see it really clearly so I just think this is miles better than the original one I mean this this transparent skin does have some drawbacks compared to the other like you know I'm in the ship here and because the surrounding blocks around the cockpit are kind of light in color it can make it harder to read the writing so you know there is that but I actually personally, I would put up with this. I feel that the positives outweigh the negatives. And I mean, that could be just my personal opinion. And I think maybe other people have different priorities. But personally, I haven't actually switched back to the vanilla GUI since I loaded this one up. It's just so good. But now let's go look at some of the files and how this is done. So here we are on the desktop and I'm just going to quickly show you where to find it. I mean you should know already but you just go into your Space Engineers install directory so your, your disk, 
program files, um, Steam, Steam apps, common, Space Engineers, content, and then here we are, all the main stuff. We're going to go on to textures. Well, actually, no, we're going to videos first. So first off, here we come to videos. And when you open this folder, you should only see this one and that one. And basically, they're the, they're the original videos of the game. And these other ones, I mean, I can just, I should just delete that. That's just not important. Actually, what is that? No, I can just delete that one. Yeah, so what I've done here, these, they've got to be Windows Media um, files. So WMVs, and that's the only format it'll accept. I believe I think I did test but I'm pretty sure that was the only one that seemed to work and the original videos are only 720p um, I think uh, the ones I replaced it with are 1080p so that's quite cool and you could maybe have some footage of a battle or something whatever you want um, it's not a necessity to replace these I mean it's not again these are all quite minor features but if you fancy doing it it's, it's, it's pretty easy to do you just have to get a WMMV video and you drag them in here and you want to back up the old ones just by renaming I put like a 2 and a 4 on the end and yeah you rename the other ones so that you've got background 01 underscore 720p and background background 02 underscore 720p so that's the only thing you've got two videos and you can choose two and then you can have them just sat in there and that's it that's videos done easy Right, now we're going to go back and we're going to look at textures. So, GUI, obviously, and that's something else. We'll ignore that for a minute. We're going to screens, and this should look the same as yours, apart from all these things, which are all these um, custom loading screens, which you can learn about in the, my loading screen video. But these are also new, these here. So what we've got here is the vanilla main menu overlay. And here I've got some examples where I've actually just changed the color of these. Very simply just by loading up and changing the, um, um, this is a grayscale, and then the other one I changed the tint to green. And I'll just show you that quickly actually. So all I have to do here, and there's, there's a clear one, which is obviously just no overlay. So if I just rename this, Overlay, I don't know, overlay three, and over this this green one, just just overlay. Now, if I just go ahead and just click Space Engineers, Space Engineers will load up. Holy moly, it's green, and yeah, my video's just there playing in the background. So you know, you could. This is the whole thing, and every single component here is customizable. So. This is obviously still blue, but these could all be changed to green or whatever. Um, okay, so that's that. I obviously, won't show the black. That's just the black. That's like a black and white version of it, and you could make whatever you want. The one thing with all these textures that they all, they all have in common is they're all in DDS format. And if you don't know how to do that, again, I suggest watching my loading screen tutorial because that basically goes through everything you need to edit files in DDS. You can either use Photoshop with a plugin or you can use a free alternative and which I still use. This is basically paint.net and I use that all the time just because it's basically paint. It's not as complicated as uh, Photoshop. It's just good for quick stuff but it's more advanced than paint so yeah. So it's easier done but so if you want to know how to yeah DDS watch that video right so basically all these elements here you've got you've got the camera overlay you've got the center degrees uh, G screen you've got the warning thing in red so you can see all the elements of the game built into here and these can all be edited and you know if you want to change the turret overlay see here you could make your own just you could just load up the file or make a new file and then export it as DDS and re rename it re replace the name with turret overlay for example so, in here, yes, you see some cats. I'm just going to go ahead and show the mouse cursor. So, here, this one here is, is this a DDS? Yeah, so this is the DDS. So, to get the, the, the mouse point to work, you have to have identical images. But one is DDS, like that, 
and the other is PNG. So there's two files, and it just says mouse cursor, mouse cursor hxw. So here I'm just going to replace this with a cat. Oh, it's a bit random, I know. Right, let's just, okay. Name this just a mouse cursor. Name this mouse cursor. Oh crap, well, I deleted it, but it's alright. Sort that out later. HW. Now uh, we're just going to load up the game again. And look, I got a moggy. I got a little cat. I got a little cat doing all this stuff. So yeah, anyway, a bit random, but the point is you could make it a lot more interesting than that. You yeah, didn't have to have a cat, but yeah, it's just a, yeah, just a random thing. So here we are on the Keen Software House forums, and I'm just on the page of Rockman's Transparent UI V2. And I'll link this in the description, of course. But basically, this is the download links you need, and and yeah the installation instructions and you can also see this is where he's he, ha he had a steam link but it was now banned because for some reason gui modifications aren't allowed i don't really understand but the one thing that he says he says this he goes hopefully this will inspire the developers and others to make their own ui mods which is exactly what i'm feeling i feel the exact same so um this is a bit of kind of i don't know kind of um Oh, I hope this will inspire people, you know, to go out and do stuff because they are they they could be really cool, especially if they're integrated into the workshop. Anyway, so you can just go to this page and you can tell Rockman yourself how amazed you are by his transparent UI. So now I'm going to show you how to install, oh well, replace basically some textures and some audio and some video, and it is as a case of. Um, replacing it and renaming it and it's got to be in the along uh, basically it's the, it's the same thing for all the components of the game as long as they're on the whole as long as they're um, the right the same format a uh, same size dimensions and stuff like that and then you replace the name they will also they will just straight off um, work in the game that's been my experience so far so here's another mod which I've got and you'll see what it is at the end so basically I extracted it and I have this content folder and I'm going to just load up quickly. Uh, let's go back to my mm -mm -mm, Steam, Steam apps, common, space engineers, content. So basically I'm just going to, oh, where is that thing? So I've got multiple screens here. Okay, so here we've got that. I'm just going to open this content one. It's going to shift over here and right. So now this is basically your content, you've got content, so this is, shows you where to replace. So let's do the audio first. Go into audio, go into audio, go into arc, go into arc, go into HUD, go into HUD. And where is where is HUD mouse click? Let's just quickly, I, I say I haven't backed these up, so I'm just going to go ahead and, oh. Oh, it's just, so let's just rename this. HUD mouse click 2 and we'll just go ahead and just drag or not drag oh wait there we go sorry I had to on search I'm, I'm a fool get to move just drag it over the two ones there that's what I'm doing here so now we're going to go back the wep weapons and shot loop. Let's have a look here. And catch weapon ship Gatlin. Shot. Uh, shot loop. Here we go. So we'll just rename this shot loop 2D2 and read to 3D3. I don't know. Uh, cut, uh, copy these across. Replace them. There they go. Set rack in. So that's the audio done. Now we're going to go back, back out of the thing, we're going to tech, uh, video, that's just shorter, uh, ooh, content, videos, videos, okay, well, that might give it away a bit, but I'm just going to quickly um, rename this, like, free and uh, whatever, oh, oops, four. rename it, uh, seven. Drag these in, straight off, right when we go. Textures. 
the textures. So, all right, models. Ooh, and actually, no. The models is something else, but I won't. Oh, okay, it's all giving it away now, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. You'll see the final result. So, all right, GUI, GUI, screens, screens. So, many overlay. Let's just rename this green one. And you know, like five. Copy this in. So that's going to be running now. Yeah, yeah. And then copy this. Put that in there. Oops, a minute. Let me just cancel that. Where is that? Game logo. Oh, I should name this game logo large. Oh, drag that in. It would appear that this modification doesn't actually, it only uses HW. I didn't notice that until now. The model is just like an, it actually, it's actually like a mod, but I'll just leave that for now um, and just show you the, yeah, that is it. That I've just, I've just installed some audio, I've just installed some video and I've just installed some uh, textures and obviously they are all, well, when, when needed, they're DDS basically. So that's that. And now let's load up the game and find out what we've just made. Right. All right. So we got our mouse cursor. <laughs> we got our sorry. We got our um, cat cursor. We got a little cat, and uh, yeah, very random. I know. <laughs> this is a UI GUI modification made by Toadritter, our um, good old friendly moderator on the Keen forums. I'm sure you've seen him before. Um, hopefully not for banning you, but yeah, you, you've, you've probably seen his name around. And yeah, he made this mod and yeah, no one saw it coming, but here it is. So he obviously hasn't changed the actual main look. He's just, he's changed the video. He's changed a little logo up here. He's got a little cat uh, cursor. And let's just load up um, just to show you the sounds. <laughs> okay, so here we are just in the same world as before. And obviously now we've gone back to, because I actually did reset it, we've gone back to the old, um, yeah, the old GUI. In terms of the old, um, obviously there are other changes, but you've got this blue semi-transparent thing, and these are all blue. I just I just think it looks, the other one looks much better. But anyway, that's that. Let's just go in here, and I'm just going to, I don't know, find a ship. So let's quickly open this door up. Get in here. Yes, so rather, I just actually had to pause for a second and um, enable my sound because my sound in game sound had to be enabled. So actually, now you can just see if I just press escape. Yeah. If I just see. You know, it's a little meow there. I mean, I hadn't even noticed that until now. That's the first time I've heard that. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and I'm just it's gonna. Obviously, click whenever I click or do something. All right, let's see. Oh. Okay, that isn't working. Ignore me. That is not right. <laughs> Wait a second, what's going on? Here? I swear. Okay, okay, I'm not not sure what's going on there. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that the. I didn't know what that noise is supposed to be. I thought it was supposed to be a purr or something like that. Anyway, as you can see, this is just, it's, it's, um, I'm lost for words. Yeah, just a bit of a random thing for cat lovers, I think. Let's just go back to the main menu. So yeah, that, and there we have it. I've just installed a, um, yeah, a, a custom GUI with custom elements, basically. And he's, he's got a slideshow of cats there. Yeah, very random, but I hope you guys liked it. Wow. Look at that cat. So that's basically it for today, guys. Um, I hope you found it interesting. And a couple of things I want to point out. So definitely check out the transparent UI. And if you want a good laugh, 
check out this cat one because it is it is very it is quite entertaining. Hearing the cat meow. Yeah, look into that, that's fantastic. Um but yeah, I really want to see more UI mods and um really good looking ones and also I want to see Keen implement some kind of um thing on the workshop so we can actually upload these and just switch UIs on the on the go, you know? That's um that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I've got loads of stuff coming very soon. I've got medieval engineer stuff and I got space engineer stuff. Um so yeah, so stay tuned guys and subscribe and yeah, give me a like if you like the video. Um anyway, see you next time guys. Mm -hmm.